Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Painting. This video, I'll be taking a look at the Ender 3v3 new firmware update. Let's scratch to this topic. The Ender 3v3 has a new firmware update, and I will take a look at that right now. We are now in Creality Cloud in the firmware section. This is the Ender 3v3. This just got updated on November 1st. So let's take a look at the description. This is firmware 1.2.3.21. Wow, that's amazing. Number one, add Z-axis offset state control and risk reminder confirmation pop-up interface. That is nice. I've been seeing lots of people saying that on their 3D printer, the Z offset keeps changing every single time they do a new print because it's doing the homing and sometimes people do bed leveling and then it resets the Z offset to something else. So let's say this time it's like a negative 0.1 Z offset. Next time, it's going to be a positive 1Z offset, and then it's going to be so much further from the bed, and then they have to adjust it back to negative 1. So it's good that they have the save now. Number 2, boot animation changed the page to a green theme. So it looks like Creative is changing their theme, I guess, from like a bluish theme to like a greenish theme now. Number 3, fix frequent disconnection of the cloud camera. Optimize web RTC connection speed. I use Orca Slicer sometimes and it's not related to the cloud camera because I don't have a camera for the end 3v3. Number four, adjust the camera AI interface layout. If you guys use that, nice. I don't have a camera so I can't really test it out. Number five, adjust the leveling anomaly prompt. Nice. It's always good that company, in this case, Creality, is helping making the leveling of the bed or just leveling in general, right? So that you get a perfect first layer more and more better number six fix other known ui issue update privacy policy text okay let's go to the end of 3v3 and update right now version 1.2.3.21 so it's all up there let's just download it doesn't tell us to do any calibration so i think this update is fine without doing any calibrations look at that it's just done updating and now it's showing the creality green triangle logo i think that's what they meant what they say green boot up look at that pretty cool pretty cool oh look at that everything has changed to green wow after the upgrade please restart calibrations before printing okay we need to do that but i'm not gonna do that <laughs> okay this still seems normal setting everything just changed to green i still really wish that they use that they add a slider that was that's gonna be so much better and all the UIs are green now the colors are green okay it can only perform during printing so we can't even check that okay so I just started a print here and see if we can mess with the Z offset and save it but I'm gonna go to expert mode right now Z offset <gasps> look at that we have the save button now before we didn't have the save button but now we have the save button so I can adjust this based on what i need and i can save it and for the next time it's gonna be the same z offset that i set right now so we can just you know not do that but i can adjust this maybe up a little bit and then click save okay here we go after saving the same z offset parameters for different printing tests may cause bad scripting risk so if you want to you click ok and then it will save that Z offset for the next time or the next print or every single print until you change this. But for me, I'm just gonna, oh, oops. For me, I'm just gonna put at zero because zero is working fine for me and I don't wanna change anything because if things doesn't break and you try to change it, it ruins things. So I'm just gonna click save. Yes. And these, yeah, it's just like this. This was just the normal Z offset, but now the Z offset has a save button, which is no so nice. And yeah. Let's go! And as you can see there, it prints perfectly first layer. So don't need to change anything. As you saw right there, the n 3 v 3 have a new firmware update and it's quite good. I'm not sure if Creality listens to the community or not, but they add the Z offset save button so that every single time you do a new print in the future, it will save the same Z offset for your next print. Well, that'll be it for this video of me looking and updating the and the 3v3 to the latest and newest firmware from Creality. This new update is actually pretty nice. But before you leave, if you are in need of lithium ion batteries, check out my store right here. It's scratch3dbattery.store. You can choose from various type of connectors, T-plug with 
a balanced charger, or just a simple JST SM plug, or if you need XT60 or XT30, it's also available with a balanced charger. You can choose from various type of battery pack and connectors that suits your needs. So once again, if you need high quality lithium ion battery pack, check out my store, scratch3d battery.store. There'll be a link in the description down below. And thank you so much. That'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below, what do you think about this new update? Do you like the Z offset that they have added the save button? And do you like the new green color that Creality added to their logo? Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, keep on 3D printing.